Prepare yourselves, pioneers in the world of finance, for we are about to plunge headfirst into a financial revolution that is going to change the way you feel about your finances. This video is your ticket on a financial roller coaster like you've never experienced it before. With everything from a child tax credit that is turbocharged to social security insights that will blow your mind. Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, the channel you should be watching for the latest information on economic stimulus packages. Today, I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. What's up? Let's get right down to business. I am honored to share some groundbreaking news with you today. In this context, we are discussing the child tax credit. There have been recent developments in legislation, and here is an exclusive look at the Social Security payout calendar for the month of February. However, before we get into the specifics, I want to point out that by clicking all of the buttons, you are ensuring that you will have a front row seat to our daily information roller coaster. It means the world to have your support. All right, let's begin with the bombshell that is the child tax credit that we just discussed. Having said that, I haven't really gone into this subject for quite some time, but guess what? The House of Representatives has just passed a bill that will rocket the child tax credit into new realms, which has caused shockwaves to be sent through Capitol Hill. Prepare to fasten your seatbelts, because we are about to reveal the specifics of this financial roller coaster. First things first, I would want to take this opportunity to remind you to keep in touch with me on Twitter at Pacific Standard Time. In this session, we are going to analyze the most recent headline news and I want you to be with me. The child tax credit that is currently in place is a decent $2,000 per child. However, hold on to your hats because Congress is about to take it up a notch. This is not merely an extension. Rather, it is an expansion that has been turbocharged. But enough of my babbling about it. Let's play the video and get the real deal from the person who is doing the talking. Doesn't that blow your mind? The plan does not just involve increasing the amount on an annual basis in accordance with inflation. A full-blown increase in the amount that is refundable has been implemented. Consider the following, $1,800 for the tax year 2023, $1,900 for the year 2024, and a whopping $2,000 for the year 2025. It's not just additional money. It's a reorganization of your financial situation. According to estimates, around 19 million children who were excluded in the past may now be eligible for the program. A twist, however, is included, just as in any other blockbuster. Will the Senate be able to approve this without any problems? Despite the fact that the House of Representatives gave it a resounding thumbs up, we are on the edge of our seats, waiting for the showdown in the Senate. A political soap opera, with Republicans and progressive Democrats each having their own dramatic arcs, is a good analogy for this situation. Are they going to score the required 60 votes? Stay tuned, since the story is getting more complicated. And since I am aware that pictures are helpful, let's examine this voyage in more detail. Please have a look at this graph that illustrates how the number of children you have and your income could have an effect on your financial situation if you participate in this plan. In a sense, it is a roadmap to monetary happiness. Very interesting. Do you agree? The areas that are darker yellow show the greater advantages that will be provided by the new bill. Initially, it begins to climb, eventually reaches its highest point, 
and then gradually begins to fall as income increases. This might be a game changer for families that fall into the lower income category, propelling them to new heights in terms of their financial situation. Just a quick note, you should postpone submitting your taxes for the time being. After the 15th of April, there is a possibility that this law will not be given the go-ahead to move on. Be on the lookout for... And let us keep our fingers crossed for some prompt legislative action. Now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to reviewing the Social Security Benefit Payout Calendar for the month of February. Please bear with me because I am aware that some of you who have been in this business for a long time have this down to an art. At this point, let's make things more interesting by looking at the schedule for Congress. Put on your seatbelts for an on again, off again ride is about to begin. Sessions off and on again. The House appears to have adopted a mentality of working hard and playing hard, with considerable chunks of downtime scattered throughout the day. Do you agree that it is nearly enviable? At this point, let's go even further into the panorama of the financial system. When we live in a society where inflation is creating havoc, it is not a secret that millions of people in the United States are struggling to handle their financial situations. What is even more concerning is the fact that many authorities are unwilling to accept that inflation is the true cause of the difficulties that people are experiencing. This year, citizens of the United States of America in a number of states can anticipate receiving substantial rewards. Congratulations are in order for those who are among the lucky. Despite the fact that inflation has been on the rise and older citizens have finally received a wage raise that they have earned, the tax landscape has remained unaltered. This is an untenable situation. The stats are not deceiving. Despite the fact that the COLA increase was at an all-time high, the number of beneficiaries who reported paying federal income tax on their Social Security benefits was already on the rise. A total of 23% of retirees who had received Social Security for a period of three years or longer said that they had paid their taxes for the very first time during the tax season of 2023. Now. Let's zero down on Arizona, where around 743,000 people are sitting on a monetary bonanza waiting for them. Due to a new refund that Governor Katie Hopps has given her approval for. With this refund, taxpayers who are